today we're going to talk a little bit about BLS, not to be confused with BS, bilateral stimulation. It's an offshoot from EMDR research that helps people with relaxation as well as installing the preferred way of thinking in your brain. Imagine that. Just like you install things onto a computer, you can install, you and I can install things into our brain. So we'll talk about that. I'll guide you through a process as well where you can see how it's done in the body. We love to make free content to help people build relationships, strengthen relationships, as well as learning how to cope with stress, with anger. So if you like this video or any of the videos, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. BLS or bilateral stimulation for some reason has been found to tap into the unconscious mind or the adaptive information processor. It's actually a relaxing, soothing process. When you think of traumatic injury or traumatic thought or even just an awful event occurring, the belief is it doesn't get encoded well. So tapping can actually help us reframe that. Traditional therapies might ask you to reframe a thought come up with an alternate way of thinking. So one thought might be, I can't do this, I was wrong, I was bad. Whereas uh, you might actually shift those thoughts, but then you end up with two thoughts. Tapping and EMDR are thought to consolidate or reconsolidate an existing memory so that you actually still have one memory, but it's reformed or reconsolidated into a more adaptive and healthy memory. Think about it like installing. You're actually installing the preferred thought into your brain. Someone might come in with a traumatic injury where they think I'm bad, I was wrong, it shouldn't have happened. Um, that was awful, and it's kind of not encoded well. You can tell it's leaning on blaming, finger pointing either the self or the other, uh, as opposed to a more balanced thought. So the person might, with a therapist or on your own, you might develop a preferred thought, which would be something like, this was an awful event. It happened to me. This was an awful event and I did everything I could to protect myself at the time. Given where I was at at the time, stage of development, I did all I could to help myself manage and cope with the situation. So it might sound like a long-winded statement. You can shorten it, you can make it your own. It's generally a balanced statement that acknowledges that the event, the awful event happened, as well as uh, it acknowledges how you coped and how you managed the situation. And it validates that. So think of tapping, as I said, bilateral stimulation. We use eye movements in EMDR, and it's generally fairly quick, whereas bilateral stimulation might be 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000. -thousand. So with a therapist, you might develop your preferred ways of thinking during EMDR, and on your own, you could use tapping, as I say, to install a preferred thought. You go to bed at night, you say, I've split up, my boyfriend doesn't love me anymore, this is awful. You might do some deep breathing. You might rest your hands on your shoulders and say, we're in a tough spot right now. It'll work out. And just five or six taps. You could also use the butterfly and it lands on your chest. Six. That might even be a little fast. So that's why we do one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. Big breath, then I'll tap my knees. Then I can walk it in through my feet. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. Big belly breath, remember, pressing on the diaphragm, hold and release through the mouth. You can even roll the shoulders here, and you might start with the shoulders. Thinking about and dwelling upon your preferred way of thinking, given the situation. And you run through the body again, right through the body, through the knees, and then walking it in. Deep breath, and you're actually soothing and calming while you're installing a preferred way of thinking. So the way you can measure that is you can come up with your preferred people. We ask people to come up with your preferred way of thinking and you rate it out of seven. 
one is low, it doesn't feel very valid, seven is high. So then you rate it again and again until it stops moving. So you might start off with a preferred thought like, I was coping pretty well with the situation, although it was an awful situation and I didn't like going through it. You know, there's a balanced thought. And that preferred thought, you might think, eh, it's only a two, it feels only two. With some tapping, going through the body a few times, then you come back to it and you measure it again. Someone might say, well, it feels a little more like a four now. And you can actually see how more and more valid it feels. So for some reason, the belief is that it actually installs it more essentially, or, or more preferably, into the unconscious mind and the conscious mind. Whereas when we're just repeating and writing lines and writing things down, it might only install in the conscious mind. So think of tapping as an exercise for one, relaxation, to calm the body along with deep breathing, along with your happy place or your peaceful, relaxed place, guided imagery, as well as grounding exercises. Think of it that way to be used as one method you might use it right before bed or when you get up in the morning you could even use it in line if you're really ticked in a line you know tapping i got this i can handle this and just calming the body while you're installing a preferred thought instead of this sucks okay so that's important to use it for relaxation and then the other is to install your preferred way of thinking if you're finding sticky thoughts, ants, automatic negative thoughts, stinking thinking like we like to call it, those negative thoughts chirping, getting your heart rate going, building up tension in your body, think about using bilateral stimulation. Some people tap their temples, some people will tap the shoulders. You can teach people to use a butterfly technique where the two butterflies meet and land on the chest, run through the knees and the feet. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Four, one thousand, five, one thousand, five or six, deep breath, and then to the next part of the body. Remember to re-measure and see how you can bring up the validity of a cognition as well as relax the body at the same time. There's lots you can do to overcome trauma and a traumatic injury, but also to relax during stressful times. When you find something really getting to your body, tensions building up, think about bilateral stimulation or BLS. We love making these videos to help people increase mental fitness, improve relationships, and just build capacity to have a more satisfying life. So please hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment as well. If you have an idea for another video, we'd be happy to look at that and maybe put out a video with respect to the specific ideas you'd like help with. Thanks for watching. Keep up the good work on yourself. And remember, take care out there.